Thank you, Chairman Jordan. The House Judiciary Committee is responsible for helping to ensure the rule of law. Unfortunately, the chair of this committee ignored a bipartisan congressional subpoena. The actions of the chair have undermined the credibility of all congressional committees in seeking information from witnesses and damage the rule of law. Now, Secretary Mayorkas, thank you for your public service. I'd like to discuss with you the history of the southern border. In September 1969, a few years before Watergate consumed this presidential administration, the president launched Operation Intercept, which basically shut down the southern border. Less than three weeks later, that operation was stopped because it largely failed to address the issues at the border. Secretary Mayorkas, who was the Republican president in 1969? Congressman, I have to uh, think back sequentially um, in reverse chronology, but I'm sure you know the answer he resigned. immediately. I'll give you a hint. This Republican president resigned. Uh, Congressman, uh, I, I know the president, uh, uh, President Nixon. Thank you. After Nixon resigned in 1974, his vice president became president. But the issues at the border continued, and in 1976, the president stated, quote, 80 to 90 percent of the heroin that comes in the United States today comes across from our southern border, end quote. Secretary Mayorkas, who was the Republican president in 1976? The vice president to Nixon. I'm sorry? He was the vice president to Richard Nixon. Um, Gerald Ford, are you yes, speaking Yes, that's up? correct. Yeah, and I, then, I, Congressman, and then I'd prefer not to answer questions of history right now. My focus is right. on the work I'm gonna, of I'm gonna help you with Homeland it. Security. I'm going to help you with this. In the 1980s, the Republican president had promised mourning in America again. But the issues at the southern border continued, prompting him to order a partial shutdown of the border in 1985. This operation, aptly named Operation Intercept II, was stopped after only a few days because it also failed to address the issues at the border. And this was a president that knew about these issues because he was a former governor of California. Secretary Mayorkas, who was the Republican president in 1985? Ronald Reagan, Thank Congressman. You. The border issues continued into this century. In 2006, the president, who was also familiar with the border because he was a former governor of Texas, declared that, quote, for decades, the United States has not been in complete control of its borders, end quote. Secretary Mayorkas, who was the Republican president in 2006? President Bush, okay. Congressman. In the prior administration, the Republican president tried to solve their issues at the border, and he failed. I would not like to show a video of what was actually happening during the prior administration in 2018. So this you play is the video. a pit stop on a punishing journey to the U.S. border, and it's still just the beginning. Migrants from Honduras, Guatemala, and El Salvador continue to make their way north, fleeing poverty, persecution, and gang violence. The caravan now includes an estimated 7,200 migrants, and more are expected to join tomorrow, potentially pushing the number past 10,000. In May 2019, the situation got even worse. Political published an article on June 5th, 2019 that was titled, Border Arrests Rose to Nearly 132,000 in May as the Border Surge Continues. City Mallorcas, who was the Republican president in 2018 and 2019? President Trump, Congressman. And now we're here in 2023. Secretary Mallorcas, last month in June, border crossings declined to the lowest level in over two years, correct? I'm sorry, can you repeat that? Border crossings last month declined to the lowest level in over two years, correct? Yes. Okay. Political published an article last week that stated approximately 99,545 individuals were apprehended last month, the first time the figure dropped below 100,000 in more than two years. That data is largely correct, right? I, I believe so, yes. All right, so based on the facts that you testified to, here is this chart. It shows that under Trump, there were 133,000 border apprehensions in May 2019, and last month, under the Biden administration, there were less than 100,000 border apprehensions. The facts show the southern border is doing better last month than it was under Trump in May 2019. Thank you, Secretary Mayorkas, for your public service. And now the Republicans want to impeach you. Good luck with that one. I yield back.
Gentleman yields back the...